Now, welcome to Light is Not Revealing God. I'm your host, Brother Victor. Today, we're talking about why people fall asleep when they read the Bible or they pray. It's a very important question because it's <laughs> a mystery for many people because when they're watching you know, social media or television, they don't feel sleepy, but immediately they take the Bible or try to pray, they try to feel sleepy. This is a demonic attack because it's very obvious because of the scenarios. Because when you're trying to do something spiritual that will build your spirit, man, the devil is trying to attack you and trying to induce sleep. So we're going to understand that. First of all, you have to understand how the brain works. Now, I drew a picture of the brain, and yeah, is part of the brain that is called the hypothalamus. This hypothalamus works with the eyes. The eyes sends information to, when it's about to feel sleepy to the hypothalamus, which it generates some uh, hormones called the melatonin. That melatonin is that makes your body feel sleepy. Now, how does this apply to the sleep and your sleeping or while you're reading Bible or praying? Now, first of all, there are three causes I try to bring out. One, it can be sickness. If you're sick, you sometimes feel sleepy and, um, you know, uh, a little sleepy and, you know, you feel a little more tired because you're feeling sick. Two, you can be lack of rest. If you're not rested for you know, a while, it's natural that you get tired and into sleepy. It's like that. We have an example in scripture. When Paul was preaching, he preached overnight, and you saw people, uh, one particular guy was sleeping, and he fell and died. But Paul had to you know, use the power of the ghost to get him back alive. So tiredness can bring sleep. Even Jesus was tired, and the Bible says he was sleeping in the boat. Then we see the demonic or the spiritual side of that most I believe is an attack of the devil, demonic attack. The devil, why I feel that when you're sleeping when you're in your Bible or praying, but you take a novel, you don't feel like sleepy, is because the devil doesn't want you to read the Bible. That's why you can easily deduce it from that. Because if you take a novel, you're reading on, you know, on reading something secular, you see that you don't feel sleepy or tired. But it's only when you're reading the scripture or the Bible because the devil knows that that will expose him, that will give you victory, right? that will give you more information because the Bible is the source of your information or your manual to know that the devil has been defeated and how to defeat the devil and how to stay victorious by the devil and it all will bring faith to move on and to know what to do and know what God promises are in your life. So that's why the devil will always try to fight it. I, I, in my experience, I know it's more demonic, even while people think that, you know, you get tired, all those things are there, but the devil capitalizes on those things to ensure that you feel sleepy. And sometimes you're not even tired or you've just been woken up, yet you still feel sleepy. That shows it's a demonic attack. And I want to point out how you can overcome this. I'll give some practical ways on how you can overcome it. Number one is to listen to audio Bibles. The Holy Spirit told me this a while ago. He said, listen to audio Bibles. So if you try to read and you find that you're sleepy, then listen to audio Bibles. You will probably, well, you find that you won't sleep. So the only thing that you require is to concentrate. Then the second is to change your position. If you are, you know, in a place, you, you end up get that place, you try to read and you also pray and find out yourself getting sleepy. Why don't you change your position to some place? Because the Holy Spirit, one, some time ago, told me, don't pray, pray in your room, go outside and pray. And I started praying outside and that's how I, I built my prayer life. So you know, there might be a demonic you know, force in your room or around you. Then, or, you know, it might be trying to do sleep because he doesn't want you to read. So he's just there to hinder you from reading the Bible or praying. So why don't you change your position rather than just stay in one place? Or sometimes you can stand and, you know, walk around to ensure that that demonic force doesn't take authority over your mind. Number three is to pray about it. Because if you're not praying about it, then you can stop nipping the butt. But from my experience, this... Why I brought this the diagram of brain is because uh, sometimes there is a gateway to the devil to induce sleep. The devil does not induce sleep. In the scriptures, the Bible talks about God inducing sleep. In Adam to make sure to create Eve. In Abraham, when he wanted to speak to him, so we can know that the sleep can be induced by God or spiritually. So, but the only forces can take advantage of that. So now there's a gateway to the mind that the devil is using to control your your body to add it can induce sleep that to have, in a sleeping stage because we talk about dream the devil has the advantage to come to attack you and not only that to stop you from even reading your bible and praying so how do you deal with this you pray about the back of your mind if a, a hand has been laid upon you at the back of your mind demonically you can create a gateway for the attacks the bible talk about questioning every fire that 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 you know the, that that the devil might throw at you so there might be that i mean thrown against your hypothalamus that will induce sleep only when 
The devil will cause to induce sleep when you're trying to read your Bible or pray. So that's what you must attack. So you must pray about destroying that, that quenching that, that, and closing every gateway, maybe by any evil hand that's laid upon your head or whatever was done by dreams or whatever that has given devil attack to penetrate into the hypertermal. So you need to pray about that and specifically lay your hands on the back of your head and pray about it so you can get rid of the arrow and the acid and the gateway of the devil. Then second, you have to pray in your eyes, but the eyes will first close before the sleep comes. Because if your eyes open, you never sleep. So you're going to pray about your eyes because your eyes is what initiates the sleep. So pray about the eyes. If there's a veil on your eyes, Bible talk about, you know, the anoint your eyes so that you can see. So you, you might be, you know, seeing physically, but spiritually your eyes are blindfolded by the devil. So pray about your eyes, anoint your eyes so that you can really have your eyes open to sit in the scripture, see what God wants to say. So that's the next thing I advise you to do. Pray about it, deal with it, because that's a long-lasting solution rather than trying to avoid the real problem. Then the number four is to rest. Rest in God. And when I talk about rest in God, is to depend on God's strength, so that you can have strength to, uh, you, have, you don't get tired of doing spiritual things. Spiritual things should not get you tired. You should write that, it should revitalize you. I remember when I get tired sometimes, I'm trying to pray, I get recharged by the power of the Holy Ghost. So you, spiritual things written in the Bible and praying should charge you up more rather than making you feel sleepy. That only shows that you have a demonic attack on your mind. So I encourage you, deal with it by praying about it. And I pray for you right now. If you are under such attack, lay your hand on your head. And I pray with you right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, let that sleep, arrows and evil devils of the enemy that are causing that sleep to go right now. Be healed and delivered from the works of the devil in Jesus' name. And if there is a veil upon your eyes, I pray that the fire of the Holy Spirit consume it right now in Jesus' name. Amen. So I believe that, that just believe it and thank God. And I believe that you have been set free. So read your Bible pray. Very important because it's a powerful key for your spiritual growth. The Bible says, as newborn baby desires sincere and make of the word of God, like so you can grow. So read the Bible so you can grow. Very important. So this is all I have for you today. And I pray that, you know, if you're not born again, you can enjoy the presence of God and enjoy the power of God. So get born again. Set the prayer on your screen. And if you're not born again, tell someone about Jesus Christ. So I hope to see you again. God bless you. Thank you for your time.